Hi, everybody. It's me, Mr. Giles, with a new tutorial. We're going to talk about layers. Um, this is something I've talked about before, but I'm going to simplify this because I realized that some of the things I was doing uh, have cha has changed a lot. So this is the 2023 uh, almost October update. Layers are really cool. And if you don't see your layers, the very first thing is to get your layers menu open. And you can open all your menus are actually controllable up here, color and your layers. So we're going to turn that on and off. And then we're going to adjust the layer menu. You can actually grab it and make it a little wider and drag it down so we have more space. We're going to try to give ourselves some space. Your canvas size we'll talk about later. But for now, we're going to use the generic default setting. You should be able to draw something on this layer. Um, and uh, I'm going to just draw this very not great face. OK, there we go. I don't know what that is. OK, so that's on the background layer. You can turn layers on and off by clicking on the check mark next to that layer. Now, if I draw, believe it or not, I'm still drawing. And in fact, I don't know if you can see, but there are little scribbles appearing here. But if, if you draw on a layer when it's turned off, you're still you're still drawing. Kind of like if you type your keyboard, if, you're, if your screen is off, but you type, it's still showing up. So I'm going to turn that layer back on. You can see the drawing I've done. OK, so I want to fix this. I'm going to get rid of this layer. I'm going to um, I'm going to make a new layer first. So I'm going to click on the plus sign here. I'm going to hover my mouse for a second. Sometimes it gives you a tool tip. I'm going to click that to make a new layer. If you go under layers here, add new layers, control shift N. So you could also go control shift N and I can make another layer. So I have layers two and layer three. So um, whatever layer you're on, when you select a layer, that's the layer that you're working on. So if I'm on layer two and I draw, I'm going to change my drawing here. I'm going to change to a new color. I'm going to grab pink. I'm going to make it like a bigger size. And I'm going to draw um, a shape. Now, if you see, this is covering over the other. And that's because this layer is on top of that layer. Now, if I drag this underneath, I drag this down. It disappears. It's because just like if I had a piece of paper and I have writing on this piece of paper, and then I put another piece of paper in front of it and cover it, I have added another layer on top. So you're adding another layer on top by dragging this up and down. If I drag this to the top, you can see it again. Um, you can move things using the blue arrow on a layer. So I can move that around on that layer and then you'll see there's a selection, these dotted lines. That's I call them the marching ants, the selection ants, or the, the selector. Control D will deselect. So anytime you do that, you can, you can deselect. You can also grab those corners and shrink it down. So I can move things between layers. I can um, adjust them. I can draw, like, I, let's say I want to draw some more stuff. So I'm going to turn off this background layer. I don't like it. I'm going to go down to layer three. And I'm going to make that a new plain white background by clicking on my paint bucket tool. I'm switching these colors. Whatever the top color is, that's what fills in. And now I have a plain white background. But on this layer, I have with my blue arrow, I can move that object around on that layer. Now, if I have a solid white layer, see the marching ants? What's the word? Do you guys remember the control? Control D. Okay, and that deselects. Um, if I grab this layer, I'm moving literally that painted part that was on the screen. I'm going to hit Control Z so I can get that back. Control Z will undo mistakes, and Control Y will redo in case you undid too much. So just like Shrek has layers, like an onion, you peel back the different layers. Paint.net uses layers. Most graphic designs programs use layers in some way, um, made famous by Photoshop. Um, but adopted by, I, I mean, maybe it was famous before Photoshop. I personally knew of it experimenting with Photoshop in the 90s. And um, now it is a standard thing that most programs have the ability to do. Uh, that's the basics of layers and the selection tool, which is actually really good to know the control D to deselect. But like if you want a new layer, you want to get rid of a layer, you can just hit this red X to delete a layer. And then to add a layer back, you add new layer or control shift N. And then to uh, turn a layer on and off, you click check marks. And then you have to make sure which layer you're on. So like if I'm drawing, um, let's, let's pick a new color, OK? 
See, I'm behind that layer, which is actually kind of cool. You can draw behind something if you want. But if I move that on top, it's now covering it. Um, also, if you don't pay attention, the layer that's selected, see, I can tell it's selected because it's like it turns blue or it's just like the color changes there. So I know that I'm on that layer right now. But if you're not paying attention and you start drawing, you might draw over it. You're like, oh no, now that drawing was literally, if I turn this layer off, I drew that blue on top of the pink on that layer, which maybe I didn't mean to do. Okay, I hope that makes sense. I hope you know a little bit more about layers now. Um, this is my help explaining layers tutorial. I hope that was helpful and we're gonna do more with this later. Have a great day.